Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, Eagles, to a breaking edition of Trad Cat Night podcast. I am Eric Ajewski, founder and owner of Trad Cat Night. Today is October the 16th, 2018. And my good friends just wanted to relay some updated information as it relates to all of the latest or newest guests that I am adding over the upcoming weeks. And I surely can't go through all of the blockbuster names, but just a few. Michael Voris will be joining Trad Cat Night. Many of you are shocked that this uh, could even happen. But yes, Michael Voris and I will discuss the homo Marxist infiltration of the Catholic Church. And so, sure to be a blockbuster talk. I also have on John Moore, notable Planet X researcher, former high ranking military uh, uh, man out of the United States Navy. I've got Hugh Owen from the Colby Center. I've got Dr. Honowski. From Rad Trad Thomas. We got George Newmeyer back on the program. Syrian girl who's been seen all over the place. We got Michael Hitchborn, of course, from the Ponto Institute. He also writes for Church Militant. We've got E. Michael Jones returning to the program. Ben Garrison, popular political cartoonist. I'm sure you've seen all his work kind of exposing Democrats uh, and so on and so forth. I believe InfoWars, Alex Jones, uh, re recirculates a lot of his uh, political uh, cartoonist work. Uh, in any case, he, he did a piece for me last year. Hopefully he can get another new piece for us in the upcoming weeks. I've got Ben Davidson from spaceweather.com. Also his popular YouTube channel, Suspicious Observers. Uh, we got Adam Green joining Trad Cat Night once again from No More News. We got Dane Wigington, Dr. James Fetzer, Leo Zagami. Folks, these are just a few of the names that I have coming on in the upcoming week. So for those of you, some of you who have still not signed up to tradcatnight.org. Again, we are the fastest growing quote unquote end times community, if you will. And uh, I was mentioning this the other day on the podcast because you, st you still get a lot of heckling from those in the traditionalist world. Oh, Eric's saying this is the end times. I remind uh, these individuals who are a little bit more softer in their position, to put it mildly, that even Cardinal Burke suggested that we are living in the end times. In any case, folks, we got 25 to 50 articles, posts coming out to you on the regular daily podcast virtually. Well, except for the for Sunday, really. Uh, it's daily. I have my own articles. Some of my latest articles, uh, the headlines read as such, underground but still doing the Nova Sordo. And this tackles the topic or argument that people recognize that the Nova Sordo uh, is something alien, and yet they're still attending Novus Ordo churches. Uh, I also tackle the Kabbalah, Tree of Life, versus the Catholic and true version of the Tree of Life, who is Mary. You'll be sure to like that analysis. I cover the last second victory and how it will seem like 
uh, when all things are said and done, uh, the Eagles will emerge onto the scene at the end. And folks, we are granted the victory in the end. I also discuss the Jesuit-run Vatican Observatory, which is now seemingly searching for Antichrist star. You don't want to miss the details uh, in this one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing another article here soon uh, based upon the, what the Vatican Observatory is saying and how they say if we were to find out that aliens were real and with us, that this would uh, change the way we would have to look at certain Catholic teachings. And so you all know what's coming. I've been warning you now uh, for quite some time on that. And if you're not uh, familiar, get to tradcatnight.org and you will be in the know. Uh, And lastly, I I did an article yesterday just reassuring everyone uh, that as eagles, faith breeds excitement for the days ahead while self-love produces fear. So uh, we see examples such as St. Therese who long to live for our times. And we have so many traditionalists who want to stick their heads in the sand uh, like an ostrich, not want to deal with, uh, with anything. And uh, this is very unfortunate. In any case, folks, on tradcatnight.org, I am updating the pages on a weekly basis. There's so much information. It's highly interactive. There's a message board, a chat room. Commenting after articles is uh, permitted. Uh, You don't have to be a Catholic uh, to follow follow the information. Uh, And so I encourage you all to get over there. Join us. I'm going to be picking back up with media appearances myself in early November. There's a calendar along the right-hand side of events so you can keep track of everything so you never fall behind on uh, any of the podcasts coming up. And again, folks, the church is going underground. I put it, you know, it's it's not a decade or so away. It's certainly not in the next few years, in my opinion, although it's going to get worse as the uh, diocese has become more bankrupt. That's a whole Masonic uh, element to this endgame. Uh, with all these lawsuits coming out, <clears throat> uh, and basically the diocese will be uh, bankrupt. In any case, this is going to be our safe haven. This is where the eagles are gathering. This is where it will be free from censorship. And so please do join us at tradcatnight.org. Make sure your friends, family members, church members are aware of. Uh, I'll be doing another live stream again for those who are not in the know. Uh, Trad Cat Night is on Twitch now. So twitch.tv backslash tradcatnight. Uh, we're doing live streams four nights a week. And so get over there. You can sub- subscribe and you can interact with people from around the world in live time. And then also have access to all of the backlog of all the various talks. And we typically go for about an hour, hour and a half uh, each night. And my plan with the live stream is to start bringing on guests and start doing shows in that fashion. So a lot going on here at tradcatnight.org. But the breaking news is uh, we finally... Uh, nailed the date down uh, for Michael Voris to come on to the program. I just finished talking with his representatives a few hours ago. So looking forward to it. I hope uh, you all do join us. If you got any questions for me, email me at apostleofmaryathotmail.com. And just wanted to reiterate that I love you all. Hope you all continue to pray for me as I am for you. Until next time, stay safe. God bless and Ave Maria.